Hey there, everybody. I'm CNY Central First Alert Meteorologist Matt Stevens. Hope this early part of the weekend is going well for you. Uh, almanac numbers, typically we'd be looking for a high temperature around 46 degrees. We are likely going to end up well below that coming up on the seven day forecast, and we'll get to that in just a moment. But uh, even today for our Saturday, we may briefly nudge up close to that 46, possibly upper 30s, lower 40s, but then pull back down as the day goes on. Our record high is certainly safe in this sort of meteorological setup. That was set back in 1938 at 82 degrees. 27 degrees are typical low this time of the year. We won't even get to that for daytime high temperatures coming up on the seven day forecast. That's how remarkably below average our temperature stretch is going to be. Five degrees are record low. That was set back in 1988. Our sunrise 704, sunset 719, and yesterday 0.01 or one hundredth of an inch of rain and 0.3 or three tenths of an inch of snow picked up at the Syracuse Hancock Airport. For the snowfall season, 129.9 or just shy of 130 inches picked up officially at the Syracuse Hancock Airport. That's of course above average. Last year on the state, we only had 96 inches of snow. Typically, we'd have about 116 inches. We have nearly 130 inches this year, and that's a, over a foot above average for this time of the snowfall season. Pretty remarkable stuff. Here's a future cast. This is 8 o'clock this morning. Note the couple spotty rain and wet snow showers around. Wave of low pressure scoots through. It's going to turn us our uh, turn our winds a little more out of the west and get us onto the colder side of the system. That's going to help to pull our temperatures back down through the 30s. We may briefly hit the low 40s today like we talked about on the almanac graphic. However, as the winds shift around more out of the west, it's likely going to tug in some colder rare as the day goes on. So we'll call them isolated flurries this afternoon, even a few limited breaks of sun as well. Winds out of the west initially this evening will help to generate a couple spotty snow showers, primarily east of Lake Ontario, isolated for the rest of us. And then during uh, the late, late night hours, winds go a little steeper out of the northwest, and that's going to pull that spray of light lake effect snow showers and flurries down towards central New York and uh, likely uh, get us maybe into a localized inch or two of accumulation. But more importantly, it's going to tug down significantly colder air for this time of the year standards through the day. Sunday early on uh, a couple isolated snow showers flurries and I think we'll continue with the kind of hit or miss snow showers and flurries blustery cold winds out of the northwest a good 15 to 25 miles per hour producing wind chills in the low single digits so hour by hour through this morning up to 39 by 11 o'clock couple hit or miss spotty rain wet snow showers midday high in the low 40s pulls back down to the mid 30s by the end of the day limited breaks of sun by late day heading into this evening a couple hit or miss snow showers or flurries primarily east of Lake Ontario isolated for the rest of us. However, winds go steeper out of the northwest late tonight and that generates a spray of some light lake effect snow showers and flurries southeast of Lake Ontario, including us here in the greater Syracuse area. Overnight lows, upper teens, wind chills near zero. Here's a seven day forecast 23 blustery cold for Sunday. That's not even getting up to a typical low temperature for our daytime high temperature on Sunday or Monday for that matter. Blustery cold, spotty lake effect snow showers and flurries for central New York. Lake effect snow showers and flurries for central New York Monday morning, then back to the east end of the lake by late day Monday. 32 on Tuesday, some light late day snow. Back to cold, 28 on Wednesday, lake effect snow showers and flurries.